Hello there, I am Janko with my Pokemon Leaf Green Redo. In the last part, we took on, well, I got the National Dex from Professor Oak. Then we headed off to uh, Three Island to catch a Dunsparce, which the tunnel guy actually dug further in that tunnel so we could catch that Dunsparce in that wild grass. We added it to our National Dex, which was pretty cool. It was like number 206 in the National Dex. And we also um, ran into Matt as we were getting the National Dex, of course. And we also ran into again on Four Island. And he said, like, oh, someone here we know, you may know is here. And it's Wolai, the first member of the week four. So yeah. Let's go to Icefall Cave though, that's where we're gonna go next. Because we're still on Foil, but we're just Icefall Cave really. Okay, yeah, let's see, put on a repel one just in case. So let me see. So we have fifth we have four two after this. Yeah, okay. Well, the other one stink still lingers from earlier. Cool. You can't go up this waterfall yet, so do you wanna go in here actually? Because we're gonna get the HMO seven for waterfall in this icefall cave and in this part. So yeah. These are uh, ice foils, you can only step on once. If you step on them again, you'll fall through the floor. So, keep that in mind. And then I think we wanna go like that. I think it's the one on the bottom you wanna fall through on purpose. Let's see if I'm right. Nope, I'm not. Well, am I? No, I don't think I am. Yeah. Messed up, okay. Try on error, guys. <laughs> okay, so it's the top one you wanna fall through. So, there we go. We go up the ladder. Um, guess we can fall through one of these. I think it's the bottom one though. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've done this puzzle. Oh yeah, if we, um, get the, um, items and stuff, yeah. Okay, hold on. We gotta get this item here. I think it's a full store. Yeah, okay, I was right, cool. Okay. You can actually run in here too. I'm gonna get that item over there though, but, um,. I just, I think we have to fall through this one to get that item. The top one. And there we go, nice. It's a Nevermelt Ice, which is a, a raise the power of Ice-type moves, I believe. Of uh, an Ice, uh, for Ice-type. Yeah, it raise the power of Ice-type moves. I won't be using it, I, I won't be, um, using it on any, uh, as a hell I am for any of my Pokemon, though. So I think we have to go up the ladder again. And purposely fall through the bottom one again. Okay. I messed that up, didn't I? Yeah, okay, we have to try that again. I stink at this. Okay, we have to be careful here. Let's go up, to the right, and down. And then to the left again, okay, cool. Or to the left, yeah. Go up this ladder. And here's the HMO something for waterfall, yay. We're gonna teach that this the Star Man, actually. So let's go to Team Case. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we have all seven HMs now. So that's pretty cool. Waterfall. Let's teach that the Starman, because Starman's the only one in my party can learn it. Yeah, and let's get rid of Water Pulse. That's what I plan to get rid of. But Water Pulse, there we go. One, two, and poof. Starman figure out Water Pulse and Machine Set. Starman learned Waterfall. Yay. Okay, cool. Let's go out of this part of Icefall Cave, and we can actually climb up the waterfall now. And we, we have the um, badge, we have all eight badges, so we can eat all eight, um, all, all TMs, or HMs out of battle, so that's good. Large fall, it's, it's a large waterfall, would you like to use waterfall? Yes, I'm going to use waterfall. Yeah, we made our way up because we're awesome. And here's another, um, we go down the water, I guess. And don't go all the way to the bottom back then. You want to go in here, actually. And, uh, look, there's a wall eye. Uh, you keep your filthy hands off the Pokemon in the cave. Do as I say, or you'll have to answer that. Or you, you'll have me to answer to. I think that's what a dog said. Aw, oh, shut it, lady. And leave. Dang, I skipped to your dog too fast. I pressed it too fast. Don't let your glasses get all steamed up. She's all shocked. She's even, what are you doing here? No, we can catch up later. Right now, I need your help. Help me kick these poachers out of before they do anything else. They've... They're, they've been catching Pokemon here and selling them off. Are you ready? You can take that one, please. Okay. So, yeah. What? You, you can't. You, who says we can't do what we want with the Pokemon we catch? Uh, you're a poacher, so you're in the wrong. So, we're gonna have to beat you in a Pokemon battle. You're Team Rocket Grunt. You don't even have a name. You're just Team Rocket Grunt. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, there's, an, there's about level 38. Cool. Let's go for the wing attack on this thing. See if this faints it. Yeah, one hit. Nice. 
Okay, there's another Zubat, okay. Yeah, you got this. You're gonna go downtown to the Slammer. This, this Zubat's also level 38 in male, so that's cool, I guess. Okay, yeah, Team Rocket's about to send a Gold Bat, okay. Let's go for a return on this Gold Bat. This Gold Bat's level 38 male. So, yeah, let's go for the return. And it hits, so let's see how much damage this does. It won't it kill, is it nice? I want I swept through your team with a Pidgeot, man. You got owned. Yeah, everyone is in level 61. Cool. We defeated Team Rocket Grant. Cool. Uh, you, we didn't plan on this. Thanks for the $12.60. Well, too bad, man. You're in the wrong, so you're going downtown. Hmm. So, despi so despicably weak. You tell me. You have. Where have you taken the captured Pokemon? I'm smashing your ring uh, once and for all. N no way, I'm not telling you that. If you won't confess, we'll deep freeze you. My Lapras is furious for what you've done to its friends. Go Lapras, Ice Beam. What? Okay, I'll talk. The Pokemon are in the Rocket Warehouse on Five Island. There, I said it. We'll be going now, but I doubt you'll ever make it to into the Rocket Warehouse. We'll see about that. Hehehe. <laughs> we'll see about that, you Team Rocket losers. Steven, thank you, but this is awful. I was born and raised here on the, these islands. I have no idea that ho I, I, I had no idea those horrible criminals were loosed here. Yeah, I think you could possibly run into wild lapras in this water if you use like a fishing rod or something, or maybe just regular surfing. I don't know. I'm not for sure. Um, yeah, ice fall cave, and I think well, I just leaves after that. Yeah, she goes back to her house, I believe. So yeah, um. I didn't really do this during the actual uh, the, the pre-game uh, before the Pokemon League I guess you could say but I'm gonna use Dig to get out of here because Dig is like a free escape rope really would you want to escape from here and return to foil one? yes sure so yeah let's do that nice okay so with Airbender being level 61 now I'm gonna switch over to Firefox yeah because Firefox is the one who's still not level 61 or higher so yeah so here is the royal ice house right here yeah we can talk to her um yeah there's something weighing heavily on my mind if anything were to happen on the island i was born where i was born i wouldn't let i wouldn't know about it if i were i would have i wouldn't know about it if i were in the pokemon league i wonder if that if that w would make me irresponsible to my home Aw, uh, she's very hard on herself right now. So we have to go find the stupid warehouse and get into it on 5 Island, which we're going to do. Okay, I think we can sell a Stardust here, so that's good. Let's sell the Stardust. I think that's the only thing I want to do, really, in this mart. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's, uh, let's put, and let's put the Never Melt Ice into the PC as long as I'm going to heal, too. So I'm going to do that all in a jiffy. Be right back. Okay, now that we've done all that, I think we can leave Four Island now. I think that's all there is to it, really. So let's go into Five Island. We have to go to the other, and then Five Island. Cool. Let's go to Five Island. Yeah. Okay. So I guess there's a fisherman right here. I mean, bruisey, bruiser. I've been getting bruiser, uh, a buzzier busier around here around these parts lately i haven't been catching many good fish lately either interesting the good view is cut over here no because there's actually a meadow okay here's another um pokemon center and stuff we gotta take on the metal first i guess and we you need cut to get that item so yeah let's put another pal on though i think mine will off my previous one will off yeah there we go nice okay and guess what? There's Team Rocket grunts around here. Th this area is strictly off limits. Out, out. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to listen to you because I know I have to beat you guys to a... Uh, not all of you guys. Some of you guys are optional. But yeah. I'm going to have to beat you some... Of, I'm going to have to beat some of you guys, if not all. Because I actually want to battle you all. Um, and uh, stop you from maybe your plans and whatnot. Okay, so this right is level 48 male. Let's go for the flamethrower. And when he kills it, cool. Let's go for the other thing. Let's go for the grimer next. Okay, we'll use the flamethrower then. This grimer's level 48 male. Let's see if this flamethrower can take it out in one hit. I'm hoping it can. And yes, it does. Awesome. Mark, okay, cool. 
I can take out this muck next. Okay, here is another flamethrower. And this muck may be able to survive one flamethrower. That's all 48 male. So let's see. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Let's get a screech to harshly lower Firefox's defense stat. Only by two, though. Let's go for another flamethrower. This should finish it off. So 48 male, as I said before. And it goes down. Awesome. There we go. 15 market grant, cool. Is this for real? Yes, it is. Thanks for fifteen dollars and thirty-six cents, man. Uh, yeah, you're a man. Okay, you're a male team market grant. Okay, so there's actually the introduction to female team market grants, which I think this is one of them. Yeah, you, you'd be wasting time even if you weren't to get by me. Okay, well, I just want to battle you so my Pokemon get stronger and I can stop you guys and take money from you after for winning the battle. You know, that's just what I'm here to do, Billy. The second is level forty-eight male. Okay. Let's go for the flamethrower. Let's go. Oh yeah, it's Terminate. Uh, cuts uh, Firefox's attack stat. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Um, hopefully, yeah, that takes it out nice. And a Gloom. Okay. Yeah, I can use flamethrower on this Gloom. It'll be super effective. I have the type advantage with my Firefox being a fire type. So yeah, this Gloom is level 48 and it's male. And let's hope we can take it on one hit. And we do. Awesome. Nice. Nice. Yeah, Firefox in level 61. Cool. Okay. Let's see what the news like boom. I'll keep Firefox in then. So let's use that flamethrower on this thing. Okay, I'm gonna keep Firefox in, for the, in front for the next Pokemon uh, trainer battle anyway, too. But if you team up with is a female, oh, wait, that makes me furious. Sorry, thanks for five dollars and fifteen dollars and thirty-six cents, young lady or uh, ma'am. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, yeah. Um, over here is actually we can get PP up, so that's pretty cool. Right over here is a PP up. There we go. Awesome. Let's see here. Um, let's use that PP up. Let's use it on Tropicuff's Hyper Beam. Yeah. There we go. So now it's six Hyper Beams. Cool. Okay. And let's face this Team Rocket going up here. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing past here except a warehouse. So what brings you here? I heard that it was on this island and you've been keeping Pokemon there. That's why I heard. That's what brings me here. Your stupid Team Rocket Grunt. Okay, you have a coughing. Cool. It's level 49 male. Okay. Let's go with a flamethrower on this thing. There we go. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. My grunt will send out wheezing. Okay, we'll stay in. And it's level 49 male. Okay, cool. Let's go for the flamethrower again. This may not faint the wheezing in one hit, but we can hope, sure hope that it will. If not, we can use another move. Oh, but it does. It faints in one hit. Cool. So yeah. We defeated the team rocket grunt. That wasn't supposed to happen. Well, too bad. It did happen. Thanks for $15.68, man. Okay, so yeah. Steven entered a password. Goldine need log. Another password is needed to open the door. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, we have to find another password. So yeah, let's go f surfing around. I mean, I think there's more trainers actually around here. Yeah, Momio Pillar. Okay, have a, this is a bird keeper actually, by the way. I'm the eldest of the bird brothers. The best thing about birds, I, it has to be the beak. Cool. That's kind of debatable though. It's an opinion that you think the best part is like the beak, or being the best part of being a bird keeper is the beak or whatever. Yeah, because she, she has a Pidgey level 47 that should be well into at least a Pidgeot or even a Pidgeot. Let's go for a Fire Blast on this thing. Or not Fire Blast, but Flamethrower. Let's see if it's the one hit kill it. And it does. 47 female. It's level 47 male. And it just went down. Okay, so here's a Pidgeot. I'm guessing it'll be also level 47 male. 49 male. Okay, cool. Yeah, but this thing should seriously be a Pidgeot because it evolves at level 36. Yeah, okay, whatever. The flamethrower takes it on one hit. Awesome. There we go. It's a bird keeper Milo. Oh, so sharp. Thanks for $11.76. And thanks for the compliment of being sharp. I'm guessing that's a compliment. It may not have been. Oh, here's a raspberry. Cool. And yeah. Here's another bird keeper. 
Oh, I turned around as soon as I walked in front of him. I got an eyesight of him. I'm one of the- I'm the middle kid of the Bird Brothers. The best thing about birds, it has to be the wings. Well, your brother up there just said- or one of your brothers just said that it was the beak. But I guess you guys can have different opinions, that's okay. Okay, so he has a sparrow with a voice of I think he has level 49 Fero then, if my prediction will be correct. I'm pretty sure you have a Fero that's level 49, that's male, and that'll come out next. Yeah, and the sparrow goes down one flamethrower, one hit, awesome. And you can send out Fero, okay. Am I right, this is this thing male and level 49? It is. Oh, I'm psychic, and I'm just kidding, I can just kind of make that prediction. You know, context clues. <laughs> There you go, one f yeah, one from their tent fans the Furo, so that's good. We defeated Birdkeeper Chaz, okay. Fop fop. Thanks for the eleven dollars and seventy six cents, man. Cool. Here's another berry. If I can yeah, there we go. It's citrus berry, cool. Again it hits a held item and it can it can be used as a held item and it can store thirty HP in battle when your HP is getting all three Pokemon. Here's a book berry. And yeah. I guess you're the youngest of the Bird Brothers? Yeah, I'm the youngest of the Bird Brothers. The best thing about the birds, it has to be the down. Okay. I'm not sure what you mean by the down, honestly. <laughs> you silly goose. Okay, here's, Bo here's a Bird Keeper Herald. I forgot to read the name of the second guy. The middle brother, but that's okay. He has a who level 47 male. I bet you have a level 49 Noctowl left. Um, after this hoot hoot, that's male. Level 47, 49 male. Hoot hoot, I mean Noctowl. We just fainted the hoot hoot though. Yeah, it's gonna sound like I was knocked out. Is it level 49 a male? Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. Cool. Let's go for the flamethrower. I hope it's gonna one hit KO the knocked out. That'd be nice. Let's see if it does. Nope, it doesn't. Okay. Oh, hypnosis. Dang it. Yeah, we're gonna put Firefox to sleep. Dang it. That's what you just did. Let's go to, uh, let's use an awakening if I have. I think I have one left. Yeah, okay. Before we can use the fucking food, I mean, we might as well use all the awakenings up first. Oh, effect, okay. Um, I'm gonna use an overheat on this thing to finish it off. Hope I can finish it off. I could be wrong. Um, there we go, finish it off, cool. Nice, okay. So yeah, the knocked all goes down. And now Firefox is level 62, yay. Wait if you put Keeper Herald. Down is so comfy, it makes me drowsy. Thanks for the open doors and 76 cents, man. Okay, let's put a trouble car up front, I guess. Yeah. Is there any Pokemon, uh, is there any more areas around here? Other than just water, I mean just another island or something like that. Let's put another pill on. Okay, it's the Wingus from the one early. Just double check in. Over here. I guess you can check the rocks. I think the item over there on the far left screen side of your screen right now is a mirror coat, which will help evolve uh, Onyx into Steelix. All you have to do is um, my pro. All you have to do is uh, put the make Onyx hold the metal coat and then trade it, and then over after the trade, it should evolve from Onyx to Steelix. So yeah, let's take you on, Scrub Scrub. Hello, you're a Pokemon look healthy. This is where I buried my Onyx. It was named Tectonix. Okay, cool. It's kind of cool in the name. Here's a metal coat, like I said before. Cool. And he doesn't battle you, so I guess I can check the rocks for items, but I don't think there's a item really in these rocks. They're just there for display. I think I already checked this rock, but I'm going to double check it. Nope, I guess there's no rocks, items in those rocks. I guess that's just to get the metal coat, really. So yeah, let's surf on our uh, star man or star me. And oh man, I did forget that um, I didn't put another pill on, so that was all my that was all me. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, yeah, let's go over here then. Then up here is another place to surf. Well, I think that wait is it? Maybe I'm talking. Maybe I'm thinking of a different island, but I don't think so actually. What about over here? Is there any other place I can? get to or get an item or something I think I got the PP up here here yeah okay that's all um as far as I know we're done here and um five island for right now yeah okay we got we took on that um yeah it doesn't look like there's any other places to surf the way except for the pillow which we've already been to okay so yeah 
But I think we have to cover uh, the top half of this island. So I'm going to heal real quick. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here's Five Island. Let's take on the, this part half right here. In fact, I might want to save it for the next part, actually. So yeah, here's the Water Labyrinth, I guess you could say. I'm pretty sure I said that word right. So this has been my Pokemon Leaf Green Redo Walk there part. Next part, we'll take on the rest of the Water Labyrinth. And I'll be finish up here at one, Five Island for now. Because we'll be coming back because the Rocket Warehouse is here and stuff. So yeah, this has been Janko again. I would like to thank you for watching again. Goodbye. And I'll just see you guys next part my Pokemon Leaf Green Redo Walkthrough Guide. Thank you.